The Great Start Collaborative, one of the four outcomes that we're responsible for working toward is reading proficiently by third grade so that kids are prepared to succeed in fourth grade and beyond. And so um, one of the things that we did as a collaborative was approach a couple school districts a few years ago in 2019 and asked, what, what would you do to improve literacy if you could just you know, do that and not have to worry about money? And they came back with two categories, which was you know, access to books and um, really summer programming was kind of that pot that it fell into. In an effort to make sure students are able to get the extra help, the Berrien County Great Start Collaborative has been working to develop new programs and support already existing ones. To build an effective literacy program, you need to have um, a solid tier one program with materials that are research-based, with instructional practices that are implemented with fidelity. Um, and from there, you need to make sure that you have a tier two level of instruction for students who need extra practice with skills that have been taught or students who have um, deficit areas from years prior or just students who need a little um, something taught a different way. And then we have a tier three system in our literacy program as well that just gives additional support and additional opportunities for practice. One of the districts was already doing pop-up libraries throughout the summer and that allowed students through the district to come to the school, get books that were brand new at their reading level and something that they were choosing uh, just to increase their access to new books and things that they were interested in over the summer. And then um, as we talked more, it just sounded like, okay, we could expand that you know, idea. And um, then we added home visits, which turned into book fairy visits. So the school district went and did um, a book fairy visit with students who were identified as a need for summer programming, but for whatever reason couldn't participate. So instead of the school just giving up on that student, they actually approached you know, the student's families and said, hey, we would love to be able to bring your student books and information. And uh, over the summer, they, they visited uh, three or four times, brought the students brand new books, ended up bringing siblings books and information about why reading is important. And so those two things, um, along with a lot of other literacy things that we've been doing, have really been our focus this past summer over the summer programming. Uh, and we were able to expand that because it just, it's great work. These literacy programs are working to identify students who need help as early as possible. And there's a lot of things that are really important and really crucial that they are exposed to and that they learn at specific ages as they're developing. So when students don't get access to those things or they've not got it in the amount of time that has been provided for them to learn it, then they have those learning gaps that need to be filled. So it's really important that in the schools that we have a system of intervention where we can do specific strategies and specific teaching in the intervention setting so that students are getting those gaps filled so that they can be solid readers moving forward. If they're exposed to language and books um, and in conversation, it builds their brain and really gives them the ability to um, have a foundation that is super strong so that when they, you know, get older and they're doing more advanced things, you know, like even math as they get older in school, it really gives them a foundation of knowledge to build upon. So it's super important from a very, very young age, I mean, really birth, to be talking you know, and interacting with your children, reading to them, exposing them to books and print um, so that they can build that vo vocabulary in their brains and also those foundational skills to be able to make sense of the world and learn as they get older. And it's even more important to hit the benchmark of reading at grade level by the time students reach third grade. Studies show that if students are reading proficiently by third grade, they're more likely to have better education outcomes overall. If students are struggling and not reading, you know, at their level by the end of third grade, then that just sets them up to get more and more behind every year. Uh, schools put a lot of interventions in place to help students, you know, not every single student will always be, you know, at that perfect grade level. Uh, but likely, the likelihood of you being successful in school is related to um, that third grade reading. That just seems to be that magical age where if, you, if you're pretty close to on track or on track, the, um, the opportunities for you in school just seem to be better. Because the foundational standards that are learning to read are usually taught in K and 1 by the time they get to second and third grade, those skills that are taught in kindergarten and one are not taught anymore. So if they have those gaps, then that has to be done in intervention. Um, the other thing that you, we find in the research supports that the bigger the gap is and the older students get, 
the less likely they have a chance of ever catching up. So the sooner we can catch them, the sooner we can get them on grade level in K1 and 2 by the time they get third, fourth, and fifth, it's really hard to fill enough all the gaps that those students have. To make sure these programs are able to help as many students as possible, the Great Start Collaborative is continuing its efforts to provide the support to make sure everyone can succeed. The school districts in Michigan are really um, focused on helping students be successful. So they have individual plans in place for students who are behind and um, have a lot of interventions. Um, most, if not all, districts have literacy coaches and access to uh, literacy supports for their students. So during the school year, the schools really have um, the opportunity to, you know, pump up those services, be face to face with those students and really get them those interventions that they need. And, you know, for us as the collaborative, we see our role as really trying to partner with those districts to find funding to help, you, you know, uh, help them support a robust summer programming, because that's when it's a little more difficult to be in touch with every single student.